Hi guys, welcome to the Meadow Mushrooms production facility here in Christchurch. My name is Matt Thomas, Managing Director and Engineer for Pearson's Refrigeration. Today we're going to do a quick overview of another design and construct project by Pearson's and how we've used some innovative engineering and design to drastically increase the efficiency, reliability and reduce the carbon footprint of this particular part of the production facility. The site here in Hornby is where the vast majority of all mushrooms sold in New Zealand are produced. The site is split into two shelf farms and one packaging facility. This project focuses on shelf farm one. Shelf farm one over the past few years has been suffering from reliability issues and high power consumption, leading to the overall running cost of the farm being far higher than desired. With the previous setup, the cooling and heating for the farm was delivered by three 750 kilowatt chillers, two of which being heat reclaim units capable of supplying the low temperature hot water. The chilled and heating primary and secondary water loops were also serviced by fixed speed hydronic pumps, further adding to the inefficiency of the plant. The most notable issue and root cause of the main problems experienced on site was the use of the heat reclaim chillers as the main source of heating. As the site has inherent varying heat load conditions due to the mushroom growing process, this causes a large imbalance between the heating and cooling demands. This is especially important when we have a simultaneous heating and cooling requirement. Due to the limited knowledge of exactly how the farm behaved from a thermal standpoint, we suggested staging the design and installation, allowing us to measure and calculate exactly what was going on within the farm. Our solution to this problem, in essence, is a relatively simple one. One, replace all primary and secondary pumps with VSD driven units to enable us to closely control the water flow. This also included the installation of various measuring stations for data collection. Two, replace two of the existing chillers with two 750 kilowatt Daikin screw chillers. Three, replace the third chiller with a high efficiency 690 kilowatt smart magnetic centrifugal chiller. And four, install two 200 kilowatt water source Daikin digital screw heat pumps for the low temperature heating requirements. Our main areas of efficiency gains are with the configuration of the heat pumps and the selection of the smart chiller. The smart chiller has been installed for its outstanding efficiency in low load conditions. We've been seeing COPs of 26 plus. The COP of a chiller denotes the difference between the input of electrical energy versus the output of thermal energy, i.e. one kilowatt in, 26 kilowatts out. On the heating side, we have used the chilled water return as our heat source for the heat pumps. Essentially meaning we are recovering a portion of the energy absorbed via the chillers that would otherwise be rejected to atmosphere and reusing it for our heating. As Meadow Mushrooms are highly motivated with regard to reducing the CO2 emissions of their operation, all three chillers and both heat pumps operate on the very low JWP refrigerant R1234ZE, which has a global warming potential of just seven. By contrast, the old units operate on R134A, which has a global warming potential of 1,430. Hi, my name is James Pronte. I'm the Operations Manager here at Meadow Mushrooms. I'm very lucky to work in an industry that's so sustainable as mushrooms. We have virtually no waste. When you look at all our inputs to actually grow the mushrooms, we only use byproducts. After we actually grow the mushrooms, all the byproducts, or the spent compost as we call it, actually goes back to the farmers and is used as fertilizer. So on our growing site here at Wilmers, we looked all over and seen where do we use the most energy. And our chiller units are by far the biggest consumption of energy. So we challenged Pearson's to see, is there anything they can do to help us reduce the power usage? Pearson's came back to us with new chiller units that they believe could save us 30%. This is a huge cost savings for us and also power usage savings too. Pearson's took a very stepped approach to this here and we decided only to concentrate on Shell Farm 1. So we installed the new units on Shell Farm 1 and the numbers have come back at a 30% reduction on our power usage. Not only are we actually saving power, but we're actually recouping some of that energy as well. So this has been a significant boost for us on our journey to reduce emissions here at Meadow Mushrooms. For me, one of the big success criteria of this project was ensuring we had no downtime on the farm. And that's where Pearson's were very good at managing this project from start to finish. Going forward, I really look forward to actually working with Pearson's and continuing this long-term relationship. In conclusion, we've been able to deliver another high quality, innovative design and installation which has exceeded expectations. 
As evidence, we're already seeing power savings in excess of $10,000 a month. If you're an industrial or commercial user wishing to increase the efficiency of your plant and reduce your impact on the environment, please do not hesitate to reach out to me and my team.